In this sampling in FL Studio video, what we're going to look at is sampling on the main playlist inside FL Studio. This is actually one of my favorite ways to work and we can take samples and cut them up and manipulate them very, very quickly with this method. So you've got your sample pack downloaded and you've now put it in the browser. It'll either be on the right or the left hand side for you. I like to work with it on the right. What we're going to do is take the sample here, it's 176 BPM, D, soft roads, sounds like this. And we're going to use that, so we're just going to click and hold and drag it onto the playlist here. Now we can make use of some of the editing features inside FL Studio. Up here in the top left hand section of the playlist, we've got this little icon that says stretch. Right now we want that to be switched off. And we're gonna go to the end of our piece of audio here. We're just gonna drag all this silence away. We don't need that there. And absolutely zoom in. You can hold control and use your mouse wheel or you can use these bars at the top here. And we're gonna Bring that right down to the end here. Now let's say we're going to work in about 88 BPM. That means this is going to be probably right on time. It's 176. We're working in half of that speed. So we've now got a really nice four bar loop there. However, if we were working at say 90, it would be a little bit off time. So the first thing I want to show you is just how we can bring a sample really easily back into time this way. I'll zoom in here as just an example for yourselves. Where it says 176, just next to it is a small wave icon. If we click on that guy, we can choose fit to tempo. We know the tempo is 176. So we're going to type in BPM. We're going to go 176. Now it's made the most sensible adjustment it can. Remember we're in half time, so it's doubled the speed of it to become nearly eight bars. It's going to be really slow now. Now that actually gives some really nice sounds. But let's say we wanted to go for the original speed. Up here where we went before and it said stretch, we made sure it was unticked. We're gonna tick that now. If we go to the start of our piece of audio, we can drag it back so it's nice and four bars long. And it's gonna work at our new BPM. Just to build upon this example, I'm going to bring some drums in just so we've got a rhythm working underneath it so we can really hear what's going on. So I've just put a really simple drum loop underneath our sample and it just sounds like this for the time being. If we hold the right mouse button and drag like this, we can get ourselves a perfect loop. Don't have to worry about all these overlapping parts then. Now I want to show you some of the really powerful features in this editing tool. We can use C or click up here on the Stanley knife and we can slice the audio into different parts. We're just going to slice it so there's two samples per bar.
So now there's lots of individual sections. Press P to bring back our pencil tool. I'm going to separate these out just so we can see that the sample changes every half bar. These may not play seamlessly. Hear the small pop there. We can get as close as possible by using this here, the zero crossing when editing clips, but it isn't always perfect. What we're going to use here is the slide tool. If we tap S on our keyboard, when we now hover over a piece of audio, we get these two arrows. What this allows us to do is slide the piece of audio. This means we can create note repeats very quickly. So we can bring this back to the original note and we can make a new pattern very, very quickly. If we start being a bit more creative, These can be slid and moved based on the quantization of the grid. Over here in the top left, we have this little snap to grid icon. At the moment, it's set to cell. If I set it to something like one over four steps, I can move this by smaller snapped increments. This allows me to make adjustments like where some samples might not sit perfectly. Here, for example, we could start more into this note. This has a slightly off end as well. We could bring this note forward. Now, another thing to note, this note here is partly why I've chosen this. It gets a lot louder and it stands out more. We could go and fix that with compression, but we could fix it right here. So what we could do here is again, click on the little wave icon next to 176. We're going to choose Make Unique. This particular one will now only function on its own. If we double click on it, we can simply turn the volume down for this particular one. If we just loop it in with one of the other sounds it needs to be closer to, get closer to the sound we're after. If we remember this, we can make copies of it. And then any other louder notes that we might use as well will be gained accordingly. And that, guys, is a really easy way to use the playlist to quickly sample something that you've brought in, chop it up, move it around and create new patterns.